Hi everybody, Colleen here from Feel Great Reflexology and Massage Cupping. Today we are going to be doing some gua sha and we'll be using our trusty gua sha spoon as well as some massage cupping and you know I'm going to be using my oils. I've already poured some and I'm getting ready to put it on my patient's arm and start some treatment. So I hope you will like and subscribe if you enjoy these videos and let's get started. So we're going to do some gua sha on the lower arm of our patient and I'm doing that because he's got some fascial restrictions and I just want to open up the area of the hand that's feeling some tension and some pain. Does a lot of lifting for work so I'm just trying to make sure that we can get in there and open everything up gradually but um, make sure that he's not feeling any pain while I'm doing it. How are you feeling? Pretty good. Yeah. And I'm going all around the arm. Make sure I put some oil on there. And I'm just stroking and doing gua sha there. Sometimes you'll see redness come up as you do gua sha. Irregardless of what color the patient's skin is, you'll see it. In this case, my patient doesn't have a lot of sha or redness coming up, which is good and happy about that. But if you see it, don't worry, it goes away within three days at the most. Now I'm just doing with some sha, gua sha on the dorsal surface of the hand and I'm using the back of the spoon, this area of the spoon to do some gua sha. And the reason why is because I'm trying to make sure I stroke in between the metacarpal bones of the hand and make sure I loosen up the hand and outside. And sometimes if there's tightness in the fingers, I will also do a little bit of gua sha on the fingers. Just be very gentle. Use the edge of the spoon, stroke around the finger. You can even stroke on the joints if they're feeling pain or tension, but do it lightly. Be kind, be careful. Um, you wanna make sure that uh, your patient trusts you and that they'll come back and let you do some more gua sha on them when needed. And you also want to make sure that um, you're treating them with care. Okay, so we've done some gua sha on the hand, and now we are going to do some cupping on the hand. Actually, I'm going to change my cup. I'm going to do some cupping in the area that we treated in the beginning. And I'm just stroking down. I'm stroking down in order to open up any restrictions, any tension. And you'll notice, or you may notice, that my patient has a little bit of hair on the arms. And if you have somebody that's got hairier arms, you might need to apply a little bit more oil. So when I put the cup on, it suctions up the skin. You might be able to see that um, in the video. Oops and just make sure it's not too much too intense as you stroke down just make sure that as you stroke they're still comfortable okay so now i'm going to see if this cup will work on the dorsal surface of the skin and right now it's sticking and it's fine but i might need a smaller cup so i am going to change it to this cup this one is a lot smaller a lot thinner it can get into those areas of the hand that need that treatment especially if someone's got carpal tunnel syndrome and I love this apparatus this pump helps me to cup beautifully and it really works wonderfully so if my patient has carpal tunnel syndrome I'm going around the wrist and I'm gonna have him just bend his wrist for me and I'm stroking all the way over that extensor retinaculum, that ligament that is probably causing a lot of the carpal tunnel syndrome. 
and I'm gonna have him hold his hand very steady so that we can go back and forth over it and even go across it. Now, sometimes I have patients that have very stubborn carpal tunnel syndrome. And what I'll do is I'll use a suction cup. So this suction cup, as you can see, it's clear, it's silicone. I will place it on the skin and it'll suction the skin. Sometimes it comes up and it'll pop off if there's not enough oil on it or if it's too hairy. In this case, it was fine until I pulled it off. But if you notice that you're having trouble with the cup staying on the skin, just add a little bit more oil and that should help. In some cases, I might need to add castor oil. It's a thicker oil and it works better and it allows the cups to stick better. So now I've just placed the cup there and I know it'll stick. And I know that that's gonna help my patient and their carpal tunnel syndrome. And I'll keep it on for about five minutes and it'll work wonders. Now, I'll also turn the hand over and I will make sure that once again, the palm is receiving some oil. And I'm doing that because I want the cups to slide beautifully. And I want to make sure that we can suction well. And I'm just doing some cupping on the palm. And you'll hear the noise that the cups make as it suctions and releases. And I'll also go around the flexor retinaculum. Remember, we want to relieve any carpal tunnel syndrome pain that's happening. We're getting the thinner eminence, the thumb pad, hypothenar eminence, pinky pad as well, and making sure that everything is loosened up. So cupping is amazing. Very effective, wonderful for carpal tunnel syndrome. And again, I'll leave the cup here. And I'll put another one right here. And like I said, we'll leave it on for about five minutes. Oh, one just fell off. And don't worry if your cup falls off. It happens. You know, sometimes you just need a little more oil or even thicker oil or to give it a little twist and it'll stay. So there's our cups. We'll leave them on for five minutes and we'll make sure that we take them off after five minutes and Let's pretend five minutes has passed. I'm going to take them off. And I will use my lymphatic drainage cup, that's this cup here, to just drain the area that we've just treated. And it just does a light drainage of the lymph. And that's it. We're done. So I hope you learned a lot today. And I hope you feel great. How do you feel? I feel a lot better than this day. Wonderful. Take care, everybody. Have a great day.